Howdy friends, Tulio here behind the wheel again, driving in the northeast part of Colorado Springs. I'm on Dublin Boulevard. Dublin runs east-west, and I'm uh, headed east right now. Just crossed through a street called Austin Bluffs. It's a prominent street here in town. And I'm going to take you into a neighborhood called Wagon Trails. Wagon Trails has been around since the, the early 2000s, kind of around the 2005 mark is about when the neighborhood started. And um, the major urban planned urban development area uh, was developed by a developer called Norwood. And Wagon Trails is one of those subdivisions within Norwood. So here we go, we're gonna pull in. So we're gonna go into Wagon Trails and cruise around a few streets in here, okay? My sister-in-law lives in this neighborhood with my brother-in-law and their kids. And it's a great area for, for anybody. There, you will see a lot of families in here, okay? Now this section right here is where they live. And I'm gonna make sure that you can see houses here. I'm gonna turn this camera a little bit. I'm gonna drive not too fast, but this street right here has some killer views off the rear of the uh, front range, the mountains here in Colorado, Pikes Peak and all the other ones. You'll see a lot of stucco homes, especially on these higher end homes with the good views. And since the neighborhood was built in the early 2000s, a lot of the trees are now more mature, which is nice. Most of the homes in here will be greater than 2,500 square foot. Many of the streets that are, I would say, probably the most desirable because of views are gonna have three car garages. At this stage where the homes have been around for 20 plus years, almost everybody's basement's gonna be finished. People tend to do that over time. It's a very walkable neighborhood too. When I say that, I don't mean necessarily that it's walkable to you know, movie theaters and malls and stuff like that, but there's actually walking trails through the neighborhood, sidewalks that they have planned. And it's really kind of neat, there's miles of it. That makes it really uh, comfortable and convenient for folk. There's also little easements between the filings as they were built and um, just makes it very, uh, you know, gives buffers between the neighborhoods. There's an elementary school here in this subdivision. And now here's a portion of it that's, uh, I would say probably the more, a little bit more of affordable section of it, where these homes are more internal, not as much views, but still nice homes. There's a few parks in this neighborhood. It is very close to a lot of stuff too. When you live here in Wagon Trails, you're very close to a uh, Safeway grocery store. You're close to a King Supers grocery store. Pretty darn close to the Powers Corridor, which is a major artery here in Colorado Springs. There's everything you can imagine on Powers. So, you know, from the restaurants, chain restaurants, family owned restaurants, uh, yeah, sporting goods stores, movie theaters, all that kind of stuff. Any of that stuff that you would want, it's here. Now I'm gonna cruise past this park. We have come many times to this park. I'm gonna pan over for you. And there is a playground here. There's basketball courts, just big open space. You can see the grade school beyond it. There's a, a baseball field over here. It's kind of nice. You'll, you'll see different youth sports going on in this area. A real plus about wagon trails, which is pretty rare. You don't see it often in Colorado Springs neighborhoods is that it has its own swimming pool. And um, I'm gonna show that to you here in a little bit. Now, when you are in these more interior neighborhoods, 
or portions of wagon trails, you'll see that the exteriors of the home are a little bit different too. More wood siding on the um, and home on the streets that are what I would say a bit higher end because of their views. You'll see more stucco. Here in Colorado Springs, stucco is the upgrade, which is kind of funny because in some parts of the country, stucco is the norm. You don't see a ton of brick here like you might see like in Texas or the South. There might be some brick on the lower portion of garages and stuff like that, but you'll mostly see wood siding on homes here. Now I'm gonna cruise through just so you can see it, where some of the amenities are for the neighborhood. I don't even remember that. They've got a tennis court and they actually set up out here with uh, like movies at night during the summertime. I'm going through their swimming pool parking lot because my sister-in-law lives in here with their family. We've gotten to use the pool quite a bit over the years and our kids have loved that. You can kind of get a gist. It's, it's nice because there's a variety of homes in here and a variety of values of homes from kind of filing to filing. Um, although it isn't an HOA, it's a very affordable HOA. You would think with a swimming pool and the amenities that they have that it'd be pretty pricey. I see a lot of neighborhoods and they're actually, I can't say the exact price right now, but they're one of the neighborhoods that has amenities like that that are really affordable. So that's pretty awesome. And as you can see, as I've already driven down the street once, there are some great views in here and um, they allow six foot privacy fences. So people with pets and, or just if you want to contain your kids, you know, in the back safely, you'll also see, and I'm seeing one right now as I'm passing it, some homes that people will have their RVs parked in their backyard. That's not very common in neighborhoods with HOAs. Many times there'll be uh, rules against parking an RV in your backyard, but if you have the space for it in this neighborhood, it's allowed, which is pretty sweet. Okay, heading right back out of the neighborhood now, but yeah, I kind of wanted to share this with you because it's um, one of those really neat neighborhoods where it's, it's a pretty neighborhood, it's a well-kept neighborhood, has a lot of amenities, HOA, but a, um, you know, one that's not too stringent and has the pool, has the tennis courts, lock, lots of walking trails and uh, just a cool neighborhood that's got great proximity to shopping, Air Force Academy, Peterson Air Force Base. There's people that live up here in the northern part that will make the trek down to Fort Carson as well. That's about a half hour drive to get to, to go to work. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you about wagon trails. Pretty cool neighborhood in the Northeast part of Colorado Springs. Hey guys, if you like these videos, make sure to follow, like, or subscribe, and I'll keep bringing you more.